Well, we are, everything is looking positive. I mean, it's with the buildings and the expansion we have now, you know, it was startling to see the growth over the last 40, 50 years. It started in that building, and then we've had the food program, we had the camp, which was in this area here. And those children came during the summer times. They were little cabins, and that's called the uh, Baskerville, I'm sorry. And so uh, that lasted for many years, and we erected so many buildings. Now you've got the food pantry, and we didn't have any of those, but we had an outlet store where we could come and gather food and whether clothing, whatever. And there was a lunch room over there where that, that uh, food pantry. Mm -hmm. And there were several smaller buildings. Mm -hmm. But the diocese, uh, there was always something going on. Mm -hmm. Some <laughs> meeting. Uh, people would come together and we had the programs here. With Ms. Rupert Forsyth and her husband, Reverend W.E. Forsyth, being educators as they were. Mm -hmm. They always had programs. Easter programs, uh, and we've had people from the other communities would come here because the, of the school. They had children here, maybe 200 children. You know, the classes were self-contained and had uh, assistant teachers and whatever. So we had a vibrant community. And oh yeah, I mean, I was talking to my dad earlier about the days back in the uh, the chapel or the church, and uh, I remember. At one point, when I was a young kid, probably between five and eight, and it was probably 10 of us in the whole church. And we keep that going week in and week out. You know, even dad would preach, you know, late lay read, you know, from time to time. And, um, you know, it was rough days, but ultimately, you know, we um, persevered, I guess, as a group the community and you know from those days of 10 now we have three four five hundred um, miss ruby i remember miss ruby and my grandma were really really tight and i remember um the days of the old easter speech easter easter speech day that was either the the week before easter or the week after easter but it used to be a big shinding where all the kids in the community would come to provide an Easter speech that Miss Ruby herself had hand selected for each of the kids. And, um, you know, first of all, she knew all the Easter speeches and who had the Easter speech. And there were so many kids. And then on top of that, um, you know, for the kids, it was somewhat of a traumatizing experience because, you know, you had 500 people in the church. The church was jam packed, people outside of the church. And you say your Easter speech, and from there, you know, you'd have a happy Easter. So anyway, those are some of the good memories. Mm -hmm.